Earth City of Was. Happy 10-10-2020, everybody. It's uh, Saturday. This is your trail condition report. It's cooled down quite a bit. Uh, originally, I was planning on coming out here for an overnight today, but uh, the fall pattern has arrived. We got some showers uh, moving in. You probably can't really see too much of the sky, but uh, we're expected to have solid seven or eight hours of rain this afternoon, which it's no big deal. I don't mind camping in the rain or whatever, being wet. It's actually kind of nice. But my main uh, mission obsession lately has been the fourth waterfall. And uh, rain's just not real conductive to deep canyon exploration. Uh, we've had no participation in precipitation out here, but despite that fact, uh, the creek's up a couple inches, which shows uh, this canyon's potential for channeling uh, even condensation down into uh, noticeable water level rises. So with rain, uh, flash floods are a real concern here. And that's good to note. Um, so I'm coming. Uh, I got a trusty log on my back. I figure I'll hike one of those in just because you can always use an extra log. And uh, who knows, maybe I'll come back in a couple days when this blows out and look for that elusive fourth waterfall. Thanks for joining me, everybody. And I feel really good for all the progress I've made, but whew, until I can climb from down there to up here with 20 pounds on my back without being winded, I still got a ways to go, right? Oh, I guess when this stops kicking my ass, I really feel like I got somewhere. I don't know if that's true or not. I've seen some skinny people out here breathing pretty hard going uphill. But I'm going to keep trying.
City of Wood. Third waterfall report. Here I am at third waterfall. Just dropped off my log. So I got a couple logs back here, assuming that no one's disturbed them. Uh, stashed away in preparation for the cold overnight that's likely to be ahead. Third waterfall still down to just one single side, but the water has come up a little bit. And it looks like that weather that they talked about earlier might be about ready to start blowing in. So, not going to linger too long back here in the deep canyon. I think I'll head on out and uh, maybe wander over to Coffee Cave. It's been a little while since I've been there. and Gee, seems like I might have some bacon in my backpack. I might mean to do something about that.
University of Was. Coffee Cave Chat. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Foremost, I wanted to say uh, I've been making videos for a little bit now. My crazy exercise, or whatever you want to call it out here, adventures. And uh, some folks have chimed in and commented, and they've said, you know, they enjoy seeing my wacky times. It makes them smile. Uh, some folks have even said it's encouraged them to get out more, which just makes me feel beyond amazing. Um, and then there's other folks who can't get out, who've said that, you know, hey, I can't get out, but this is at least living vicariously through you, and so it's almost like getting out, and that's great too. And so it really means a lot to me um, to know that there's folks out there, uh, some of whom I know, some of whom I don't, who are, are watching and seeing me and witnessing this part of my journey through life. And so thank you. I appreciate that. I, I hope I can continue to share my fun times. And uh, I guess in the course of all that and through taking um, people out here on walks and showing them around, different questions have come up. So. I thought it might be nice to sort of talk about some of that stuff. Oh, nothing like a good hot cup of black coffee. Uh, one question is, uh, you know, do you do this for a living? Boy, I wish I could. I really do. If I could find some way to turn going out into the wilderness and taking people with me uh, into a, a way to make money I would I would jump on it I've had uh, some people from companies contact me to be brand ambassadors on Instagram and things like that but um, they were real sparse with the details and didn't really seem completely legit and I'm also not sure if I want to uh, turn these times into a walking advertisement for folks so no, this isn't my, my job. I don't get paid to take folks out here. Uh, in the real world, I'm a web developer uh, and digital marketing strategist. I do lots of uh, online stuff on the web, uh, making websites and a lot of the pictures you see um, for your favorite local stores. Speaking of students, uh, a lot of people are like, you know, hey, Dean, hey, Professor, uh, you know, joking around, and I think that's great. They're trying to bestow upon me a title of respect, but the fact of the matter is I'm a student out here just like everybody else. Um, I am not the teacher. When I refer to people as students, it's not that they're learning anything from me. Um, I bring them out, and the lessons make themselves. As far as what those lessons have been, you'll have to talk to the students. Um, I know for me it varies just in walking around, being able to unplug and, and just think about things. But once I get into some of the deeper uh, aspects of the canyon, the trail here does teach me lessons. It says, hey, you know, when you're in a hurry, slow down. You miss stuff. Um, be careful, you know. Just different things you can learn just by being in nature listening to the rocks and the trees. And so the things you learn, they're not anything planned usually, and uh, there's certainly nothing that you'll get out of me. Um, the campus, the canyon, the wilderness is the teacher, the world is the teacher, and we're all students, and we're all here learning. So far today, it's been a beautiful day. I uh, halfway regret, you know, not just going through and doing my overnight. But I know uh, right about this time, I probably would have been at Third Waterfall, checked in uh, for about an hour now, just hanging out. But, you know, it's still early in the day, and I can see the clouds coming in. It's, it's going to rain. might not be hard uh, this afternoon, but it's going to be through the night. And, you know, I figured it's just better to err on the side of caution. Uh, it helps me get a lot of things done. Uh, this afternoon, so I'm getting a little taste of both worlds, you know, I get to come here and find my peace and enjoy my time and then I get to go home and also 
still take care of the things I need to take care of there. So, um, what more can you ask for? And uh, worst case scenario, if it rains tonight, I just come out tomorrow again. So, yeah, I, I, I came out a little disappointed that I didn't get to do my overnight that I've been planning on, but hey, whatever. Maybe I missed my window. Who knows? The canyon's not going anywhere. Fourth waterfall's not going anywhere, assuming it's there. The ravens are singing and they're telling me it's like that old Rolling Stones song, you know. You don't always get what you want, but sometimes you get what you need. It's been a great day. Sure, I'm glad you're all here joining me, sharing it today. You know, it occurs to me that uh, if I haven't mentioned it already, it's a great opportunity to say, uh, get out. Get out. If you're feeling cooped up, if you're feeling trapped, stuck, unhappy, sad, whatever, break your mindset. Stop what you're doing right now. Go outside, even if it's just in your backyard, away from people into nature, lay down on the ground if you have to, and look at the sky. Break your routine and see what it does for your mindset. I think you'll be surprised what a small change can make when you make the time to take the time. Thanks, everybody. Do you love adventure? Do you have questions about the Earth City of Was? Contact us now. We're standing by to hear your concerns and requests. You can find us online anytime, anywhere, or out here.